Happy day 25 of our thankful for 30 challenge. We are nearing the end and today is a topic that I'm really excited to bring you because it's something that it has become second nature for me, but I know it isn't the case for many. So today we are going to talk about managing your time. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. Now you may be like, how does that have anything to do with being thankful? And Actually, I recently paid for the subscription to Growth Day, and it is through Brendan Burchard. If you are into personal development at all, you probably have heard of him before. He is phenomenal. Um, I've read this book, High Performance Habits, um, from him. I've now listened to it once and read it once. It's dense, but it is so good. It's such a good book. And he is the owner, creator, brain behind the growth day app and the subscription and through that every single day he has what's called the daily fire and recently like just the other day I listened to one of them that talked about time management now I had already been planning on talking about this but he really gave me like some of the words so I'm going to give full credit to him those daily fires disappear every single day so like there's a brand new one every single morning and then it disappears by the time like the day is over but in that I will probably not say it exactly right, but essentially he explained that people who do not manage their time well are less thankful, are less happy, are less appreciative of the life that they live. And at first I was like, interesting, I wonder why that is. But then I took a step back and I thought about my own life. And I thought about the times where I am feeling the most happy and just like feeling really good about life and how things are going. And usually 99.9% .9 of the time when I think of any of those situations, it's when I am managing my time. I am making a to-do list. I'm looking at my planner. So that's why I keep glancing over here, but I'm looking at my planner. I'm making a to-do list. I'm being realistic with my time. I'm putting in scheduled things that I have coming up and I am working backwards to make sure I can fit in everything that I want to get in. And by the end of those days, when I have checked all those things off my to-do list and I've gotten those things done and I've made the time to get everything done that I wanted to get done, I feel incredible. Now, vice versa, whenever I don't make a plan and I'm feeling behind, it just seems to trickle throughout my whole day. I feel stressed out. I feel frustrated. I feel angry. The littlest things bother me, like all of that. So whenever I heard that the other day on that daily fire, I was like, that is spot on. Like that is so good because it's so true. If we aren't managing our time, we aren't truly appreciating the life that we have. So in order to appreciate the life that we have, we need to manage our time. If you can honor the time that you have, the time that you've been given here on earth, which is a short amount of time really, if you think about it, if you're truly honoring that, then you are going to be thankful for the life that you have because you're realizing how important every second, every minute, every hour, every day is instead of pushing things off or thinking, oh, I'll get to it later or whatever. You know, another part of that daily fire that they talked about, and I've seen this in movies, I've seen this in different personal development, I've heard this at church, but a lot of people, like when they do surveys of the older generations, like when they are in their last years of life, they always ask them like, what what would you do differently if you went back? And a lot of times they are saying things like, I would have just really soaked in those moments more. I would have spent more time with my family. I would have spent more time doing this. I would have this, this, whatever. It's all about time though. They would have spent more time doing X, spending time with X. Like they would have done more, which meant they would have managed their time better so that they could have really soaked up those moments. And therefore they would have appreciated them more because here at the end of their life, they're thinking, that's my regret. I would have loved life even more had I really valued that time. And I just feel like that is such an important piece, especially as we are heading into a really busy season with holidays, we're already in the thick of it. We've now had Thanksgiving, now we're heading, in, heading into Christmas and New Year's. I think it's just a great reminder as we continue to move forward that your time is so valuable. Your time matters. And, you know, in the sense of health, don't wait till January 1st to start caring about your health again. Start now, start today. In my wellness community, that's what I do with my job, we are literally doing a 21 day countdown to Christmas. And in that time, we are all going to have completed a three week workout program, five workouts a week. We are going to follow simple meal plans. We are going to lean on each other for support and encouragement. Like 
we're literally going to do that. Instead of saying, oh, 21 days till Christmas, I'm why even bother? Instead, we're all going to have completed 15 workouts by the time Christmas comes. We're all going to have eaten good meals by the time Christmas comes so that whenever Christmas is here and whenever New Year's is here, we can feel really good about the fact that we honored our time, we managed our time in a way that absolutely aligns with who we want to be and coming back to that favorite self. My favorite self is somebody who is not wasting time. My favorite self is somebody who is managing her time so that I can check all the things off my to-do list and then I can go spend time with family or I can go outside for a walk or I can read my fiction or I can do whatever I wanna do instead of feeling guilt because I didn't get all the things done and feeling like I don't deserve to get to do whatever else it might be, right? So. This is a big one. This is a really, really big one. And I feel like if if we can really hone in on this one and figure this one out and be more mindful of the, the precious time that we have right here before us, we are going to be so much more thankful. I am always more thankful at the end of a day when I've completed a big long to-do list. Today specifically has been a jam-packed day for me and I have gotten so much completed. I feel so good as I'm sitting here recording this video talking to you about time management because I've literally shown it in my own life to myself today. I feel really thankful for that. Meanwhile, if I was all stressed out and hadn't gotten anything done this morning, I probably wouldn't be feeling so thankful. So take that today, make a goal to be more just conscientious of the time that you are spending doing certain things, time that you're spending wasting, and make a plan for how you can really utilize your time for the rest of this year and beyond. All right, that's what I've got for you. See you tomorrow.